Welcome back to the Junkman's Garage. Uh, today I'm going to do a little woodworking project. And uh, if you know me, I'm not really a woodworker. I really don't like working with wood. But anyway, what I'm making here is a hearth surround to, um, to offer some protection for uh, uh, toddlers and stuff. I have a little nephew, and of course I have my little boy um, that is going to eventually be up and walking and uh, the nephew he is walking and keep him away from the fireplace and things so um, I know there's ones you can buy out there and uh, I looked at those and those are, look fine but I wanted something a little custom and I, I just I like to build things so I wanted to build it myself so anyway I'm going to build it out of uh, this material here some of this stuff is left over from other things it's rough cut cedar and then I got some uh, Redwood lattice here. We'll stain it up. This will be the main kind of keep them out of the keep them out of there. Um, and I'm going to put this together with you know like pocket screws and things. And like I said, you professional woodworkers out there, close your eyes because uh, I'm probably going to build it kind of wrong. Because <laughs> honestly, I don't know the right way to build what I'm building. I have it. I have my plans up here. Uh, as far as how I'm going to join things together. It's going to work just fine when I get it done, and I guess that's the point. So um, without further ado, let's get started with this project. After doing a bunch of cuts and um, routing a nice edge on here, I basically got it done. I mean, I got to finish it. I'm going to put a, a coat of a kind of a darker stain on it, but I'm leaving it kind of rough. I mean, I did sand it with some 80 and then 120, but um, here it is. I got uh, it opens and closes. You know, it can swing way open because then we'll open the door and can uh, get into the stove. Um, I'll surely have a picture of that when I get that far. But um, yeah, just put a couple hinges on the gate here. And uh, you know, it's pretty heavy. Put, put these uh, post caps, I had to kind of modify them just a little bit. Just covers up the ends there because I just drilled screws down from here and uh, to finish those off. But this is it. Uh, just, just really a couple days work. I mean, I got about another day I guess because the uh, stain has to, uh, you know, dry and, and all that good stuff before I can put it in. And and on the back side, I just put a uh, board so, you know, um, when it's latched, um, there you go, and uh, you know, pushing on it, you know, can't get in there. And uh, oh yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put a um, kind of an expanded metal or, or something so little hands can't get through just just this area here um, I don't care around here but the front of the stove will be right there and then it, they can't get too close I mean even if they stuck their hands in there it's not like they're gonna be able to um, touch the stove because this is set back quite a bit so well anyway that's this project um, I had fun building it and um, 
Let's show you some of the finished pictures.